attention swine exhibitors and family, ex attention swine exhibitors and family. It is 5.04. We will be starting the show at 10 minutes after 5. If you are in the first two classes of the evening, you need to be at your pens. The committee will be around to help you to the makeup area. Again, we are starting in five minutes. Exhibitors in the first two classes, please be at your pens.
Good evening and welcome to the 2024 Market Swine Show at the Carroll County 4-H and FFA Fair. We would like to thank all the families who have come to watch our show this evening here at the Eddie Harrison Jr. Arena. This arena is dedicated to the memory of Eddie Jr. and Janie Harrison. We're going to start this evening off with our exhibition A Lightweight Class. In the ring, we have the following exhibitors, Elizabeth Roderick, Sadie Frock, Jacob Frock, Savannah Williams, Zeke Frock, Sophie Murphy, and Nora Bechtel. Pigs in this class range in weight from 183 to 207 pounds. Heading to the ring at this time right now, we should have Class 1B or 0B. Our exhibition lightweight class will be looking for the following. Mason Frock, Noah Guyman, Abigail Bertier, Grace Bertier, and Brooklyn Lowdy. Pigs in this class is going to range from 213 to 217 pounds. I'm sorry, that goes on to the back. In that class is also Kirsten Ehring, Brenna Chamberlain, Ella Fritz, Cora Guyman, Lillian Bertier, Hunter Hoff, and Lexi Zepp. Pigs in this class go from 213 to 224. Again, if you're in class B of the lightweight exhibition, please be at your pens. The judge is the committee will be around to get you shortly. Thank you. Really nice way to go ahead and start off our hog show here on the exhibition side of things. And a, a really clean cut, neat looking kind of winner uh, to go ahead and lead off this class. One that you certainly have to appreciate, her length and extension up ahead of her blade. I love the silhouette and squareness she offers out through her tail root. She's really phenomenal in terms of how her rear foot hits and grabs the surface. If you want to get a little critical on her, she maybe gets a little more tight in terms of the, her heart girth. You'd maybe like to soften her up in her cage, make her a shot more pliable in her body shape, but that's being critical of a nice one to win. 
take nothing away from the young ladies in second here. Um, this is arguably the power hog of this particular class. Real stout mug, bit wide constructed kind of hog. Um, that for me maybe just gets a little bit less descript in its shape up high. Maybe like to clean it up as it transitions back through its flank. Young lady with the Berkshire hog that comes out here in third um, is one that again really is good in terms of body shape and pliability. Love the width that this thing is constructed with at the surface. For me, we got to clean this one up in terms of his lower jawline, maybe square him up in terms of where his hawk sits relative to his pin set as he goes directly away from us. As we come out here and forward, the young man with the Tamworth, the Pier and Barrow, uh, really lean, shapely kind of hog. Just need to see this one softened up in terms of its lower body shape to go any higher. And then as we round out the class here in five and six, a group of hogs that are really mobile in terms of their construction, um, a group of hogs that are really lean in terms of their shape. We just got to pry them open at the surface, give them a shot more power and muscularity on either end of their skeleton to move up any higher in this particular class. Let's give these kids a big hand. Results of Class A, Lightweight Exhibition. First to Savannah Williams, second to Nora Bechtel, third to Sophie Murfin, fourth to Jacob Frock, fifth to Sadie Frock, sixth to Elizabeth Roderick. In the ring now, we have the following exhibitors. Mason Frock, Noah Guyman, Abigail Bertier, Grace Bertier, Brooklyn Loudy, Kirsten Ehring, Brenna Chamberlain, Ella Fritz, Cora Guyman, Lillian Bertier, Hunter Huff, and Lexi Zepp. Pigs in this class are ranging in weight from 213 to 224 pounds. We need the following exhibitors at their pen. The committee will be around for you shortly. I'm looking for Lloyd Arbaugh, Carly Hatfield, Calvin DeLuca, Jensen Wagner, Tayona Ardinger, David Guyman, Colin McPhillips, Kylie Medlin, Vincent Peterson, and Patrick McPhillips. Please be at your pens.
another really good class of hogs out here in our exposi or, uh, yeah, exposition uh, division. And I think there's one that's pretty logical to land on in my mind, uh, just in terms of spread at the surface, squareness of knee. I love this thing's chest floor as he comes directly at me, or her chest floor as she comes directly at me. She's big and square up high. She's really dimensional as you step in behind her. That's not to say she's fault free. We need to make her better in terms of her hip loin juncture. She's one we gotta allow just to step a little more freely in terms of where she wants to land that rear foot, allow her to set within her skeleton uh, to really call her a structural improvement over the ones that go behind her. But I think just in terms of big pieces, that's the one that's gotta go ahead and win this particular class. Take nothing away uh, from the young ladies here in second. I love this one's skull design, and I love this one's throat latch. I think it's really square out of the back side of its shoulder, and I think it's got really big legs underneath of it. Uh, one that I certainly appreciate for the set and angulation to her shoulder. Love her rear leg flexibility. If you want to get a little critical of this one, it maybe gets a little bit plainer and deeper in terms of its lower forerib. Maybe isn't quite as dimensional as you step in directly behind it. Really neat design one from the side uh, to go ahead and go third. Love this one's flexibility. Love how it's set back in its knee and shoulder. This one's rear leg is as good as any in this particular class in terms of how it reaches and grabs the ground. For me, this one just gets a little frailer between its eyes. Maybe isn't quite as dense at the surface. I think if we could give this one a shot more muscle, shot more feature, that one could run with our, the two that go ahead of it. Really stout, burly, opened up Tamworth appearing barrow to go ahead and go fourth. Uh, one that again is really stout in terms of its skull and jawline, really robust in terms of its pin set as you watch it go away. For me, this one gets too steep in terms of its design to its hip and rump structure. Also maybe gets a bit more forward in its knee, comparatively speaking to the group that goes ahead of it. Really stout made. Uh, really open designed uh, kind of hog here, um, especially as you evaluate it at the top side of its skeleton. Really raw and descriptive in terms of its shape. We just got to go ahead and make that one blend together and nickel better. Really smooth made kind of Berkshire barrow here. Um, one that offers all the volume of muscle you could ever ask for. We just got to go ahead and put it on in a bit square package. As, and then as we go ahead and round out the class here, a group of hogs that uh, are really loose in their design, uh, definitely have a bright future on down the road with feed. We just got to crack them open in terms of their skeleton, maybe make them a bit more comfortable in terms of how they go in regards to their structure. Results of Class B exhibition lightweights is as follows. First, Alexi Zepp. Second, to Brooklyn Loudy. Third, to Mason Frock. Fourth, to Brenna Chamberlain. Fifth, to Ella Fritz. Sixth, to Kirsten Ehring. Seventh, to Noah Guyman. Eighth, to Lillian Bertier. Ninth, to Cora Guyman. Tenth, to Hunter Huff. Eleventh, to Grace Bertier. And twelfth, to Abigail Bertier. You're following along in your program. 3, 7, 12, 11, the right in of Brooklyn Loudy. 2, 6, 4, 5, 9, 8, 10, and 1. In the ring at this time, we have Exhibition Class C, lightweight. Pigs in this class range in weight from 230, 225 to 235. Entries include Loy Arbaugh, Carly Hatfield, Calvin DeLuca, Jensen Wagner, Tayona Ardinger, David Guyman, Colin McPhillips, Kylie Medlin, Vincent Peterson, and Patrick McPhillips. We have 10 entries in this class. We are looking for Class D Exhibition Medium Weight Market Hall Exhibitors to be at, the, at your pens at this time. Exhibition medium weight exhibitors, please be at your pens.
really nice class and, and maybe a challenging top three in my mind, uh, one that maybe just doesn't check all the boxes. Uh, but I think when you begin to put together totals and, and start to find the pig that covers the most bases, you got to land with the young lady directly in front of me. That is a big, that is a stout skulled hog with a big blade and forearm laid into it. I love this one's body shape from the side. I think his rear leg is probably good enough relative to the two that follow him. If I want to get a little critical, I'd maybe like to clean him at, up at the top side of his neck, relax him in his hip, maybe make him go a nickel better in terms of just how he hinges in his upper skeleton from behind. But that's being critical of a nice one to go ahead and win. The looser option is arguably the one that goes second. I think this one's rear leg is very, very good. It's very, very functional, but it awfully, I do believe it should be uh, because out of the top three, this is probably the lightest muscled hog. This one's a bit narrower coming at you, maybe a little bit less descript at the top side of its skeleton. Young lady's guilt that goes ahead and comes out here in third is one that's maybe not wanting to cooperate with her today. Uh, and there's a lot to like about this pig, uh, but there's also a lot of issues that I run into with it. It's big, square, and shapely up high. Just needs to go better in terms of its overall skeletal design. Really loose made, uh, soft body kind of hog here to go in four. Love this one spread at the surface. We just got to go ahead and intensify this one in terms of foot size. Maybe make it a little bit fresher in terms of its edges. Same can be said for this one. Really square design kind of hog, one that's flexible from the side. We just need to freshen this one up in terms of its loin edge, make it a bit sharper at the lower and the lower portion of its skull. And then as we round out the class, <clears throat> a group of hogs that have plenty of volume of muscle, we just gotta maybe change how they lay it on their skeletons, maybe make them a bit better in terms of their their skeletal integrity to move up any higher in this particular class. Let's give these kids a big hand for their efforts. We'd like to congratulate all our exhibitors in Class C lightweight market hogs. First, Kylie Medlin. Second, Carly Hatfield. Third, Tayona Artinger. Fourth, Lloyd Arbaugh. Fifth, Jensen Wagner. Sixth, Patrick McPhillips. 7th, David Guyman, 8th, Colin McPhillips, 9th, Vincent Peterson, 10th, Calvin DeLuca. If you're following along in your program, 4, 2, 10, 5, 3, 7, 8, 1, 9, 6. In the ring at this time, we have Class D, Exhibition Middleweight, we have seven entries in this class, and those exhibitors include Gemma Stockman, Charles Snyder, Madison Myers, Kyle Reed, Jacob Guyman, Brooks Warner, and Macy Eaves. Pigs in this class are ranging in weight from 236 to 246. While we have just a minute here, I'd like to introduce our junior ambassadors who are here with us this evening handing out ribbons until the cake sale starts. We have Hayden Schaefer. Give a little wave there, Hayden. And Olivia Miller. You too, Olivia, give a little wave. Put your hands together for our junior ambassadors here with us this evening. We will be looking for Class E Exhibition Middleweight exhibitors to be in your pens. Put your hands together for our ringmen there. A little early in the evening, but pigs always make up their minds where they don't want to be. Again, into the ring, we're being, bringing seven entries with weights between 236 and 246.
really phenomenal class of hogs out here, and I think there's one that's fairly logical to land on. Uh, study this one uh, from the ground up, and I think this one's so good in terms of how it grabs the surface. I love this, how dense this one is in terms of its feature. It's incredibly square coming at you. It carries that squareness all the way up high with a really bold square shape at the top side of its skeleton. Study that one going away really dense from stifle to stifle. Maybe like to change how that rear foot lands in turn relative to the rest of its skeleton, but that's being awfully critical of a nice one to uh, go ahead and lead off this class. Really tall fronted hog in this calico barrel. Another one I love coming at me. Really square in terms of its chest floor, square in terms of its knee. I think this one's back shape is really, really expressive. This one's top is rolled up in it. It's incredibly square in terms of the utilization of its rear leg and how it brings it forward. We just got to make this one a little neater in terms of its transition points, maybe blend it a little better into its hamloin junction, soften it in terms of its outward body shape while laying it back in its knee. Really soft, productive kind of hog to go third here. Uh, one that you really have to appreciate just this one's true genuine body shape and roll to her upper rib cage. This is another one that's really dense and broad in terms of her construction to me. She gets a little bit plainer there at the base of her jaw. Maybe is not quite as just truly shapely as you study her up high. Maybe doesn't leave you with quite as much comfort in terms of the utilization of her hip and hind leg. Really neat silhouetted kind of pig here. Uh, one that for me, it just gets too upright in terms of its shoulder. Need to go ahead and crack this one open at the top side of its skeleton. Same can be said for this one. Love this one, skeletal integrity from the side. One that's really comfortable in terms of its structure. Need to soften this one up in terms of its body shape. Maybe make it a little bit neater in terms of how it blends back into its upper hip. And then as we round out the class, couple hogs that you have to appreciate the volume of muscle that they're carrying, appreciate their length and extension. Uh, they just got to go ahead and be a little better in terms of their build, maybe a little better in terms of how they transition out of the backside of their shoulder in terms of upper forerib shape. Congratulations to Kyle Reed, who was first in our exhibition class D. Second went to Macy Eves. Third went to Charles Snyder. Fourth went to Jacob Guyman. Fifth, Brooks Warner. Sixth, to Gemma Stockman. And seventh, to Madison Myers. Entering the ring at this class is class E, exhibition middleweight. We have five entries, Hayden McGrath, Gannon Heckler, Cade Schaefer, Owen Hackler, and Leah Fritz. We need the following exhibitors to their, their pens, Kylie Kaler, Jarrett Edwards, Alyssa Harmon. Attention in the swine area, attention in the swine area, if you are not a parent or guardian or exhibitor, if you could please make your way to the bleachers or out here to the ring area for seating. It does help our fair it does help our swine committee be able to move the pigs through the aisles if we do not have as many people in the aisleways. Again, if you are not directly associated with an exhibitor, please move to the viewing areas around the ring. Thank you so much.
another logical spot to land in this class. Uh, just a hog that maybe isn't perfect in a few areas, but I think in terms of covering market hog fundamentals, uh, this gilt does a lot of those things incredibly right. Love how genuinely shapely she is at the top side of her skeleton. Really expressive as you step in behind her. I think she utilizes her rear leg relatively well in terms of just grabbing the surface with her foot, driving up over that heel and pushing it back past her pin set. I just need to relax in her spine, maybe level her out in terms of where that tail head sits uh, relative to the rest of her body, but still a nice one to go ahead and lead off with. Really loose made kind of hog to go ahead and go second in this particular place or in this particular class. Uh, one that's got plenty in terms of volume of muscle. We just got to go ahead and square it up in terms of how it lays on that one skeleton, make it a bit sharper in terms of its edges. Same can be said for the one that comes out here in three. One that's incredibly broad at the ground, carries that width all the way up high. We just got to make this one a little neater in its outward appearance, sharpen it up in terms of its edges up high. As we round out the class, a couple loose made, long extended kind of hogs. We got to go ahead and crack them open at the base of their skeleton, give them a shot more body shape and muscularity to move up any higher in this particular class. Let's give these kids a hand. Congratulations to our exhibitors in class E. First went to Leah Fritz, second Cade Schaefer, third Hayden McGrath, fourth Owen Hackler, and fifth Gannon Hackler. If you're reading down your program, three, five, two, four, and one. Our last class of exhibition is class F, we have three entries, Kylie Kaler, Jarrett Edwards, and Alyssa Harmon. Pigs in this class weigh 290, 286 to 297. We are looking for class 1A Berkshire Market Hogs. Class 1A Berkshire Market Hogs. Exhibitors, be in your pens. If you are a Berkshire exhibitor, you need to be in your pens at this time. Thank you. Really nice class to go ahead and round out our exhibition hogs out here. Um, and one that uh, is fairly easily land to land on in my mind. Uh, love this one's density at the ground. This one's incredibly bold in terms of the spread to his toe. I love his squareness of his, I love the squareness of his knees. He comes right at me. Really dense, gold, pliable bodied. It's got all the muscle you could ever ask for. Nice place to start. Take nothing away from the young ladies in second. Again, in terms of volume of muscle, I think this one is plenty adequate in my mind. This one's good in terms of the length of its body. It's good in terms of its comfort as you go ahead and watch it drive from the side. For me, it just gets too plain and up through its head and throat. One that needs to be more descriptive as you read it in terms of its back shape. And then as we round out the class, another really loose skeleton kind of hog just gives up too much body shape and muscularity uh, to roll with the two of that go ahead of it in this particular class. Let's give these kids a big hand. Results of exhibition class F, first to Jared Edwards, second to Alyssa Harmon, and third to Kylie Kaler. At, this concludes our exhibition classes for this evening. We are ready to start our purebred market hog show. We'll, we, we will begin that with the Berkshire Division. There are six entries in Class 1A Berkshire Market Hogs. Braley Lease, Graham Hester, Mason Spielman, Weaver, Mackenzie Weaver, Ava Brown, and Heather Graham. Berkshires in this class weigh between 242 and 249. Class 1B Berkshire Market Hogs, please be at your pens. Class 1B Berkshire Market Hog exhibitors need to be at your pen.
really nice way to start off our Berkshire Market Hog Division, and, and maybe not a perfect one to come out here and win it, but I think as you begin to break down structure and body cavity, and, and one that reads right in terms of their shape up high, uh, this is the one you gotta go ahead and land on. Out of my top three, this one's the broadest at the top side of its blade. I love how this thing proportions from the side. His hind leg reaches and grabs the ground incredibly well. Where I get critical on this one, I think it's pretty evident. He gets pretty plain at the lower portion of his jaw. He's not quite as descriptive as you step in behind him. Maybe like the level him out in terms of his hip. Same can be said for the one that goes second. Need to go ahead and make this one a little bit better in terms of where, how he utilizes his upper hip structure. He's also one that uh, maybe rolls up in his spine as the drive wears on, but that's an incredibly fresh, shapely, well-presented kind of hog to go second. Really well-balanced, good proportion kind of hog to go third. One whose volume of muscle up high is, is impressive. We just gotta go ahead and square this guy up. He gets a little bit rounder in his blade shape, gets a little more uh, just steep in terms of the angle to his hip and how he utilizes his hind leg really raw shapely kind of pig here to go for just need to make it neater in terms of its transition points long bodied big extended kind of pig again we got to make this one blend better from the side we got to go ahead and maybe shorten this one up a rib or two to make him balance up and proportion a little better um, just in terms of his look from the side then as we round out the class um, really youthful market or youthful kind of hog that you love how fresh he is through his head and neck we got to go ahead and soften this, soften this one in his body shape, make him go a little better in terms of just the utilization of his rear leg. Results of our Class 1A Berkshire Market Hogs is as follows. Mason Spielman was first. Second was Graham Hester with tag number 5523. In third was Graham Hester with tag number 5504. In fourth was Braylon, Braylee Lease. In fifth, Mackenzie Weaver. And in sixth, Ava Brown. If you're following along in your program, four, three, one, five, six, and two. In the ring at this time, we have a class of seven that will make up Class 1B Berkshire Market Hogs. Exhibitors include Jenna Stamball, Brenda Williams, Reese Mackenzie Reese, Brooke Owens, Jaden Fieser Favorite, Reagan Fieser Favorite, and Maya Trump. Weights on your Market Hogs in Class 1B range from 250 to 259 pounds. At this time, we need Class 1C Berkshire Market Hog exhibitors to, the, to their pens. Again, Class 1C Berkshire Market Hog exhibitors need to be at your pen.
really nice place to go ahead and start off our second class of Berkshires here. Really freshly presented kind of hog. Awesome skin and hair. Love this one. Density of skull. This one's incredibly big and square at the top side of his blade. Carries that all the way back through his loin edge and out. As you study him going away from you, he's incredibly square in terms of how he brings that rear leg forward. If you want to get critical of him, he's just maybe a little lazier headed out here today. I think if he goes ahead and picks his head up and drives, that one could look awfully neat. Take nothing away from the young ladies here in second. This is the powerhouse of this particular class. He's broad in terms of the spread to his blade. He's big in terms of his cavity. He's robust from stifle to stifle. Relative to our class winner, he gets a bit more refined at the surface, gets a little steeper in terms of his rump structure. Young lady that goes into thir or goes third, really long fronted, high tying kind of hog, really loose in terms of how it's made. Maybe wants to step on the edge of its skeleton as it goes directly away from you, a little softer in terms of its kind. Really fresh, youthful uh, kind of hog to go ahead here in four. Really lean in terms of its shape up high really comfortable in terms of its structure. We gotta go ahead and crack this one open at the surface, maybe make it a shot more robust in terms of its forerib and lower body shape. Then as we round out the class, a group of hogs that are good in terms of the volume of muscle they possess, we just gotta go ahead and lean them up, maybe make them a bit more clean cut at the base of their jaw, a little fresher in terms of their shape up high. Let's give these kids a big hand for their efforts. Congratulations to Class 1B exhibitors, Brooke Owings first, second was Brindle Williams, third was Gemma, Jenna Stamball, fourth went to Mackenzie Reese, fifth to Maya Trump, sixth to Reagan Fieser Favorite, and seventh to Jaden Fieser Favorite. Reading down your program, three, two, four, one, seven, six, five. Entering the ring now, we have Class 1C of our Berkshire Division. We're looking for entries from Lane Bernardi, Gabe Dell, Elizabeth Coopersmith, Kaylin Sweeney, Easton Smith, Emily O'Meara, and Elena Enoff. Market hogs in this class range in weight from 260 to 269 pounds. We need class 1D Berkshire exhibitors to their pens at this time. Again, Berkshire exhibitors in class 1D, you need to be at your pens at this time.
If we can have your attention here at the ringside, we're very honored tonight to have the Secretary of Agriculture, Mr. Kevin Addix, who is here with us. And I asked Kevin to say a few words to welcome all of you to the Maryland, uh, to, oh, I said Maryland State Fair, Carroll County 4-H and FFA Fair. And uh, very pleased to have him here and as a visitor. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Thank you, Kevin, for coming. Hey, thank you very much, Andy, and, and congratulations to everybody who's here, who's entered. I can't believe there are 150 entrants uh, with pigs. Uh, this is pretty incredible. So congratulations to everybody who's involved, and uh, congrats for such a great showing. This is, this is great. Uh, I hear, aside from the Maryland State Fair, this is number one. So guys, guys are all doing a great thing, Con and thank you to the organizers, everybody for showing up to support. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you coming and visiting Carroll County. Another really nice hog to go ahead and lead off this particular class. Uh, one that I think out of the top trio has the advantage coming at me in terms of squareness of chest and knee. I think when you study this one at the top side of his skeleton, he's big, he's broad, he's open, he's square. He's incredibly smooth in terms of his transition points out of the top three. I think he's the most comfortable within his skeleton. Of course, I'd like to maybe sharpen this one up in terms of his jawline and throat, but that's being awfully critical of a nice one to go ahead and win. Take nothing away from the young ladies here in second. She, this is the powerhouse of this particular class. This one is incredibly stout and shapely in terms of <clears throat> the top side of its skeleton. Really love this one, it's one's expression as you step in directly behind it. For me, this one gets far too steep in terms of its rump structure, wants to shuffle in terms of the utilization of his rear leg. Young man that goes in third, really neat silhouetted kind of hog, tall fronted, gets a bit more upright in terms of his knee, gets a little too closed up at the base of his chest floor for me. Same can be said for this one, really big, shapely up high, just gets far too straight in terms of its shoulder and knee, like to make it a bit more comfortable in terms of its rear leg structure, while giving it a bit more intensity of feature. And then as we round out the class, a group of hogs that maybe just need change structurally in an area of t or two, maybe need to be softened in terms of their body shape, uh, maybe need to shop more muscle, but still a very nice class. Let's give these exhibitors a hand. Congratulations to our exhibitors in Class 1C, Berkshire Market Hogs. First place went to Easton Smith, second to Kaylin Sweeney, third to Emily O'Meara, fourth to Elena Enoff, fifth to Lane Bernardi, sixth to Gabe Dell, and seventh to Elizabeth Coppersmith. If you're following along in your program, reading down five, six, seven, two, one, three, and four, we are looking for class 1D Berkshire Market Hogs. There are seven entries in this class, including Chloe Miller with two entries, Grace Shoemaker, Maya Trump, Avery Becker, Madison Laney, and Mitchell Smith. Market hogs in this class are ranging in weight from 275 to 279. Exhibitors in class 1E heavyweight Berkshire market hogs. Exhibitors in class 1E need to be in your pens at this time. For all of those exhibitors who participated in livestock judging today, again, if you were an exhibitor in livestock judging today, awards will be presented Thursday evening at 5 p.m. Again, Livestock Judging Awards will be presented Thursday evening at 5 p.m. Thank you.
Another really good class of Berkshire hogs. And the young lady off in the corner here is going to go ahead and win the class for me. Um, this is one that I think just in terms of skeletal squareness and skeletal correctness, this one needs to go ahead and win. Love the pliability and body shape that this one offers. I think this one's uh, really good in terms of how fresh it is up high. Again, we need to make this one a bit cleaner there through its throat latch, a little bit leaner in terms of just the shape or the condition that he's pushing in his elbow pocket, uh, but still a nice square hog to go ahead and lead off with. Take nothing away from the young lady's hog here in second. Uh, this is an incredibly tall fronted, long fronted kind of barrel. Um, that paints an awesome silhouette from the side. For me, this one just gets too flat and closed up out of the back side of its shoulder. Gets a little bit more one dimensional as it goes away from you. Really neat looking feminine design kind of Berkshire to go ahead and go third here. Love the set to this one's shoulder and knee. Love its length and extension ahead of its blade. Maybe relative to the two that go ahead of it. Gets a little harder in terms of its lower body shape. Gets a little bit more upright in terms of the design to its hock. Really bold, shapely kind of hog here to go fourth. Uh, for me, I love the volume of muscle that this hog possesses. For me, <clears throat> unfortunately, it just gets too plain in terms of the design to its lower jaw. Wants to get a little bit rounder in terms of its upper hip shape and camps that rear leg under it as it drives from the side. And then as we round out the class, a couple hogs that maybe just need to be laid back in their shoulder, maybe need to be cracked open in terms of their skeletons and leaned up in terms of their shape up high, but still a very nice class. Let's give these kids a hand. Results of Class 1D heavyweight Berkshire Market Hogs is as follows. First, to Chloe Miller with tag number 2063. Second, to Madison Laney. Third, to Chloe Miller, tag number 2064. Fourth, to Maya Trump. Fifth, to Avery Becker. Sixth, to Grace Shoemaker. And seventh, to Mitchell Smith. Our last class of Berkshire Market Hogs are entering the ring at this time. Exhibitors include Colby McKenzie, Madden Story, Mesa Williams, Isabella Snyder, Wyatt Snyder, Trevor Cole, Evan Shoemaker, Market Hogs in this class are ranging in weight from 280 to 290 pounds. We need the following first place market hog Berkshire exhibitors to ringside Mason Spielman, Brooke Owens, Easton Smith, and Chloe Miller.
arguably probably one of the easiest class winners to find thus far today. I mean, this thing's skull is absolutely incredible. I love the spread to this one's blade, and this one's got an absolutely massive rear leg construction. Really square in terms of its shape up high. Leaves you with a tremendous amount of power. Not enough good things to say about this pig. Really loose constructed kind of hog to go ahead and go second. Love this one's length and extension ahead of its blade relative to my class winner. Maybe reads a little bit flatter out of the back side of its shoulder. Consequently, gets a little bit less descript as it transitions up to the top side of its skeleton. Really feminine, long-fronted kind of guilt to go ahead and go third here. Another one that I think is very good in terms of its shape and power and muscularity. Just wants to get a little bit steeper in terms of its rump structure, comparatively speaking, in my top three. Really bull-bodied, productive kind of made hog here. Got, got to love the volume of muscle it possesses. Just need to make this one a little bit sharper in terms of how it lays it on its skeleton. Really freshly presented kind of hog, one that's lean in terms of his shape up high, just gets too upright in terms of its shoulder, gets a little frailer in terms of its skull. And then as we round out the class, a couple bold, pliable, productive kind of hogs, we just got to go ahead and lean them up, make them a bit more shapely, um, and maybe crack them open in terms of their skeletons as you study them up high. Results of Berkshire Market Hog Class 1E. First, to Colby McKenzie. Second, to Madden Story. Third, to Isabella Snyder. Fourth, to Wyatt Snyder. Fifth, to Evan Shoemaker. Sixth, to Mesa Williams. Seventh, to Trevor Cole. If you're reading down your program, one, two, six, three, four, seven, and five. We are ready to select our champion Berkshire Market Hog for the evening from your first class with a Berk weighing 245 pounds is Mason Spielman. Class 1B, our first place winner was Brooke Owings. Her Market Hog weighs 257. Class 1C, I did have a correction and I apologize. Your class winner was Emily O'Meara and her Burke is weighing 268. Chloe Miller with Pig ID 2063 was first in class 1D with a market hog weighing 275. And out of our heavyweight class 1E, Colby McKenzie, is exhibiting a market hog weighing 280 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our Berkshire champion drive. Really, really pleased with the lineup of Berkshire market hogs I have out here. Hogs that I think really do a tremendous job just covering market fundamentals of being pliable in terms of their body shape, 
square in terms of their muscularity as you study them at the top side of their skeletons, smooth in terms of their transition points, um, and definitely comfortable enough in terms of their structure uh, relative to their, uh, their peers within their respective classes. With that being said, I think there are two hogs out here that maybe take it to a higher degree of quality, uh, two hogs out here that are maybe just at the next level. So if you would, let's give these kids a, a hand. I'll show you the two I like the best. We're looking for Madden Story to return to the ring. Madden Story with his Berkshire Wing 280. We're moving into our Duroc Market Hog Division. In the ring at this time, we have Anna Coppersmith, Jovia Horms, Corey Black, Rowan Kaiser, and Colt Smith. Market Hogs in this class are ranging in weight between 246 and 248. We do have five entries in this class. Your champion Berkshire Market Hog was exhibited by Colby McKenzie. Your reserve champion Berkshire Market Hog was exhibited by Brooke Owens. Those trophies were donated by R.D. Bauman and Son, K.L. Lemon and Son, Hay and Straw. We need class 4B is being loaded in our holding pens. Again, class 4B, Duroc Market Hogs are being loaded in the holding pens. Class 4C, Duroc Market Hogs, please be at your pens at this time.
really nice uh, place to go ahead and land in our first class of Dirkshire, or Duroc Market Hogs. Um, one that you really have to appreciate just in terms of his skeletal composition from the side. I love how he's laid back in his shoulder, how he sets back in his knee and utilizes his front end with a tremendous amount of comfort. He's bold in terms of his body shape. Love the way he grabs the ground and drives off of his rear leg. He's the biggest and squarest at the top side of his skeleton in this particular class. Nice place to start. The one that probably most closely follows him in terms of type and kind, in terms of skeletal integrity, is the young ladies that goes second. Love this one's density of skull. I love how this one utilizes its forearm and drives off of its rear leg. Relative to my class winner, he gets too flat in terms of his forerib, not quite as just broad and open up high as you read into his back shape. Young lady that comes out here in third, really loose made flexible kind of hog in terms of his rear leg skeleton uh, for me this one gets too upright in his shoulder too hard in terms of his lower body shape maybe need to freshen him up there at the lower side of his jawline young man that comes out here in four really broad stout opened up kind of hog study that one going away from you he wants to get upright in terms of his rear leg structure maybe wants to swivel as that rear foot hits the ground then as we round out the class really loose flexible made kind of hog just gets too hard in terms of its lower body shape too narrow coming and going congratulations on class 4a Duroc market hog exhibitors first to colt smith second to jovia horms third to corey black fourth to rowan kaiser Fifth to Anna Coppersmith. In the ring at this time, we have class 4B. These seven market hogs are ranging in weight from 250 to 258. We have the following exhibitors Wesley Brown, Elizabeth Burns, Jason Trump, Grayson Van Domlin, Georgiana Condon. Gavin Kidwell and Ashlyn Kidwell. Duroc Market Hog Class 4C is headed to the makeup ring. If you're in Class 4C, you need to be with your Market Hogs.
attention exhibitors, attention exhibitors. Nominations for the livestock sale is now open. You must have shown your pig first before you can nominate it for the sale. They are taking nominations at the picnic table in front of Tubby's. The 4-H member must nominate their own animal and have knowledge of the breed, the weight, and the tag number when they go to the table to nominate their pig. Again, nominations are open, but you need to have exhibited your pig first. Thank you. Another really nice class of Duroc market hogs out here, and I think a really nice place to start in the young man's barra across the ring from me. I think this one's incredibly square coming and going. I love the density that he offers to his body cavity. He's rolled up in his edges. He's plenty comfortable when you study him in terms of his range of motion from the side. If you want to get a little critical on him, you'd maybe like to allow him to step a little square in terms of where his rear foot lands inside of his skeleton as he goes directly away from you. Really tall, fronted, freshly presented kind of hog to go second. One that's incredibly lean and shapely up high. For me, maybe reads a little too hard in terms of his lower body shape maybe needs to be powered up as he goes directly away from you. And that's where the hog in third has the advantage. This is a bold, powerful hog off either end of his skeleton. Just gets too plain in terms of his lower jaw. Doesn't, isn't quite as expressive and shapely up high. Wants to camp that rear leg underneath of it. Really long fronted kind of hog to go for. Just needs to be more expressive up high. Need to lay that one back in his shoulder and knee. And as we round out the class, a couple hogs that are good in terms of the volume of muscle that they possess, the length and extension that they possess. We got to go ahead and just correct them from a skeletal aspect, maybe make them a little bit better in terms of the shape of their body cavity and the width that they offer up high. Results of class 4B is as follows. First was awarded to Wesley Jacks Brown, second to Gavin Kidwell, third to Jason Trump, fourth to Elizabeth Burns, fifth to Georgiana Condon, sixth to Ashlyn Kidwell, and seventh to Grayson Van Domlin. We're now ready for class 4C Duroc Market Hogs. We have eight entries in this class. Exhibitors include Mackenzie Weaver, Wade Smith, Caroline Smith, Alyssa Spielman, Jace Turfel, Caleb Chamberlain, Colby Wetzel, and Reese Smith. Market hogs in this class are ranging in weight from 260 to 269 pounds. I need to go back and read down the list of placings for class 4B. If you're following along, class 4B, 1, 4, 3, 7, 5, 2, and 6. Again, we have class 4C in the ring, 4D. Exhibitors in class 4D need to be with their pigs at their pens. We will begin loading your class shortly. Additionally, for all parents, guardians, and exhibitors, all pigs that are not in the sale must be removed from the building by 7 a.m. Friday morning. Again, pigs that are not in the sale need to go home before 7 a.m. Friday morning. Thank you.
really phenomenal class of Duroc market hogs out here and a, a very nice one to land on in my mind. Really love how freshly presented this one is. One that offers an absolutely killer look from the side. Really loose and flexible in terms of his skeleton. I think relative to the one that goes behind him, he's a little bit square in terms of where his front feet hit the ground. A little more sure. Um, in terms of where that rear foot wants to land. If you want to get a little critical of this one, he does get a little easier as he transitions in out of the rear side of his loin and into the front side of his hip. And that's where the one in second has the advantage. Uh, but I still think that's a nice one to go ahead and win. Young man's hog that comes out here in second is one that I think from the side, again, you have to love this thing's height, the shoulder. I love the turn. and and how bold this one is in terms of the front side of its body cavity. For me, I need to relax this one in terms of the center portion of his spine, maybe make him a little better in terms of how his front fit hits the surface. While I'm doing that, maybe give him a shot more rear leg structure. Young lady that comes out here in third, really bold, dense, good skeleton kind of hog. For me, this one isn't quite wanting to cooperate today. Maybe like this, like to make this one a little fresher in terms of his kind and in terms of his edges. Really loose skeleton, broad design kind of hog to go for here. I uh, love this one's skull, love this one's width of chest. Maybe gets a bit more prismatic up high. Maybe gets a little easier at the edge of its loin. I think if we could make it a little better in terms of its transition points, maybe level it out in terms of where that tail root sits. That one could move up in this class. Really broad constructed, heavy muscled kind of hog here in five. Just gets a little plainer in its outward design, carrying a little more chub than I deem, it, deem desirable. And then as we go ahead and round out the class, some hogs that have some height and some stature. Unfortunately, that comes with a little bit straighter shoulder. They're maybe not quite as comfortable in terms of how their rear foot hits the ground and wants to drive, but still a very good class. Let's give each and every one of these exhibitors a hand. Results of Class 4C Duroc Market Hogs. First was awarded to Caleb Chamberlain. Second, Jace Turkle. Third, Reese Smith. Fourth, Mackenzie Weaver. Fifth, Wade Smith. Sixth, Alyssa Spielman. And seventh, Caroline Smith. In the ring at this time, we have Class 4D Duroc Market Hogs weighing 270 to 274. We have nine entries in this class, including Virginia Burns, Anna Coppersmith, Lane Miller, Andrew Warner, Sophia Battaglia, Ch Chase Lease, Turner, Ridgely Turner, Addison Fritz, and Emma. Harrison again nine entries weighing 270 to 274 we're looking for class 4e 4e Duroc market hog exhibitors please be at your pens
another really complete Duroc class winner out here. I think when the young man does get this one to drive, love this one's height, the shoulder, love how he ties out of the top side of his shoulder. Watch him drive directly at you, and he's the squarest at the base of his chest floor. He's really good in terms of the turn to his forerib. Love how he utilizes his hind leg. Nice place to start. Another really good one to follow him here with the young ladies, Drock Gilt in second. Uh, Gilt that maybe just isn't wanting to cooperate and drive for today. Uh, but I love how stout this one is in terms of its forearm. I think this one is also incredibly dense at the top side of its skeleton. Relative to my class winner, I don't know that this one's quite as fresh over the top side of its loin edge. Maybe just doesn't grab and drive with its rear leg quite as well. Really neat pattern hog from the side to go three here. Uh, just doesn't match it with the shape up high to move up any higher in this particular class. Same can be said uh, with the one that comes out in four. Tall fronted, long extended kind of pig. Maybe gets a little bit shorter in its hip design. Maybe isn't quite as just good in terms of its spread and genuine shape and turn that it has um, at the edge of its back. And then as we round out the class, a couple freshly presented hogs uh, that just need a shot more shape, shot more muscle, or maybe need to be changed in an area skeletally or, or two. Uh, but still a very good class. Let's give all these kids a hand. Results of Class 4D Duroc Market Hogs. First to Lane Miller, second to Addison Fritz, third to Chase Lease, fourth to Ridgely Turner, fifth to Virginia Burns, sixth to Andrew Warner, seventh to Anna Coppersmith, eighth to Emma Harrison, and ninth to Sophia Battaglia. We are now ready for class 4E Duroc Market Hogs. We have the following six exhibitors, Sarah Bowman, Graham Hester, Jaden Fieser Favorite, Grafton Condon, Lucy Lynn, Isaac Marble. These six market hogs range in weight from 276 to 284. Thank you for the applause. We appreciate the support of our exhibitors. We need class 4F heavyweight Duroc market hogs to the loading pens. Please be ready for the committee member to come and get you. We are loading 4F into the holding pens.
a little more challenging class of Duroc market hogs out here and uh, one that I don't know that there's one that just surfaces to the class readily out of the gate. Uh, but when you begin to put together totals and read into these things, body cavities, and study which are the most genuine in terms of their spread at the base of their chest floor, the most genuine in terms of their width from stifle to stifle, and the freshest in terms of their shape up high, the young man off to my right's got to go ahead and win this particular class. Now, that's not to say that that one's perfect. We got to change that one's rear leg assembly. He wants to drag that rear leg and set it outside of the, or set it on the outside of this skeleton. I think if we could free him up in his hip, make him a bit more flexible in his hock and allow him to track a little square, that one would run away with this class a little easier. Take nothing away from the really fresh designed hog here in second. Love the set to this one's shoulder and knee. Love the freshness that this one offers at the top side of its skeleton. For me, relative to my class winner, I don't know that this one offers the genuine spread behind. He's also a bit more uncoordinated in terms of where that rear foot lands. Young lady that comes out here in third is one that uh, arguably is the densest and stoutest out of this top trio. Love this one's forearm. Love this one's density of rear leg. To me, he gets too forward in terms of his knee. He gets a little higher in terms of his chine. You're not quite sure where this one's rear leg is gonna end or gonna land at any point in time. So we go ahead and leave that one third. Really another really fresh skin and haired one to go fourth really long and extended ahead of its blade just gets too hard in terms of its lower body cavity and then as we round out the class again really fresh presented hogs hogs that we just got to make a little bit denser in terms of their body shape hogs that we got to go ahead and lay back in their shoulder make a bit more comfortable in their skeletal design as they come out here but still a very good class Results of class 4E Duroc Market Hogs. First to Graham Hester, second to Jaden Fieser Favorite, third to Sarah Bowman, fourth to Isaac Marble, fifth to Lucy Flynn, and sixth to Grafton Condon. Reading down your program, three, one, two, six, five, and four. In the ring at this time is our last class of Duroc Market Hogs before we select our champion, Duroc. We have exhibits by Ryan Bauerline, Emma Harrison, Caroline Smith, and Raylan Stamball. Market Hogs in this class range between 285 and 291. In the holding rings, we are bringing back Colt Smith, Jax Brown, Caleb Chamberlain, Lane Miller, and Graham Hester. Our judge will let us know if we need to bring back our seconds. Really logical class winner here in this particular class. A hog that I think just does or covers show hog or market hog proportions so well when you study this thing from the side. This thing is short back. He's robust in terms of the turn to the fore, turn to his forerib, or to her forerib, excuse me. And when the young lady does get this guilt on the drive, she comes and ties incredibly high out of the apex of her shoulder. You want to get critical of her, we'd like to maybe spread her in terms of her pin set, make her a shot more comfortable in terms of where that rear leg wants to land. 
take nothing away from the young ladies in second. This one's arguably more comfortable in terms of the utilization of her hip, hock, and rear leg. A little better in terms of the set to her shoulder. She just gets a nickel too long bodied for me. Can't get her to proportion up quite as well um, from the side relative to my class winner. Young lady that comes out here in third, really bold, shapely, kind of hog at the top side of this one. Skeleton, really fresh as it goes away from you. For me, this one gets too upright in terms of its shoulder. Consequently, can't quite get that one's spine to lay into it quite right. And as we round out the class, really bold bodied kind of hog. Just got to freshen that one up. Reads a little more mature in terms of his shape, a little more mature in terms of his edges as you read them at the top side of his skeleton. Let's give these kids a hand. Results of the Duroc Market Class heavyweights for F. First, Emma Harrison. Second, to Raylan Stamball. Third, to Caroline Smith. And fourth, to Ryan Bowerline. Reading down your program, four, one, three, and two. We are now ready to select our champion Duroc and reserve champion Duroc Market Hog. We are looking for the following entries. Colt Smith from Class 4A with a market hog weighing 948. Jax Brown from 4D with a market hog weighing 250. Caleb Chamberlain is representing Class 4C with a market hog weighing 266. Lane Miller is out of Class 4D and his Duroc is weighing 271. Graham Hester is in 4E with a market hog weighing 276. And from our last class of heavyweights, Emma Harrison is exhibiting a Duroc weighing 287 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our Duroc market hog exhibitors. Really phenomenal uh, group of Duroc market hogs out here. And again, I couldn't be more pleased with the lineup we've got going and driving out here. With that being said, there's one that hit me really hard within its respective class. I think it's been one of the tightest pairs today. The young man directly in front of me will be a champion Duroc. Gets a little bit closer as we drop these hogs out here for reserve. Um, but there's two in my mind that I think are incredibly close. Uh, kind of sticking to my fundamentals and finding ones that are genuine in their kind, lean uh, and fresh in terms of their presentation. I do think that out of those two, there's one that surfaces for me a bit more comfortably. I also prefer the utilization of that one's rear leg. The young man here will be reserved.
congratulations to Jace Turfel for exhibiting your reserve champion Duroc Market Hog, and your champion Duroc was exhibited by Caleb Chamberlain, and your trophies were donated by Joey and Marcy Borner and family, and Greg and Beth Hester. We are now ready to start our Hereford Mar Market Hog division as soon as we have a short presentation by the Harrison family. Hi, welcome to the fair, especially here at the Market Hog Show. It's always a good one here. We're here to present the Jane Harrison Memorial Premier Duroc Award. Growing up, we raised Durocs and they became our favorite. Um, so we began our award in her memory. Um, it's based on points, so showmanship, our market hog show here in the Duroc division, and herdsmanship. This year, I know he's been waiting for it, is Caleb Chamberlain. Caleb Chamberlain. She said it. Thank you so much to the whole Harrison family for being here for this special presentation. And very dear memory of Janie Harrison and the Harrison family. And we are ready to move on to our Hereford Market Hog Division. Hereford Market Hogs, Class 7A. We have three entries in the first class with weights between 240 and 247 pounds. Bryce Dennis, Aubrey O'Meara, Maiden Story. We're looking for Hereford Market Hogs, Class 7B. Please start making your way to the ready ring. Hereford Market Hogs. Right before we get started here, I'd like to introduce our 2024 Carroll County Farm Bureau Ambassador, Lucas Barnett. Give a little wave there, Lucas. Our 2023-2024 Farm Bureau Representative is Ashlyn Kidwell. We thank both of them for being here tonight to help give out some ribbons. Really nice class of Hereford Market Hogs out here, and a logical one to start with. One that's incredibly square as he drives directly at me. I love just the density and shape that he offers up high. Plenty of skeletal flexibility. If you want to get a little critical on this one, you'd maybe like to intensify his rear foot structure, but that's being awfully critical on a nice Hereford to go ahead and win. Young man's Hereford 
barrel that comes out here in second is one that's incredibly robust and pliable in terms of its body shape. One that's got all the spread at the base of its skeleton you could ever ask for. We just got to go ahead and lean this one up, make him a little fresher in his outward condition. And as we go ahead and round out this particular class, really fresh designed hog, one that's lean and shapely in its kind, just reads too hard in its lower body shape, a little bit raw in terms of its outward muscle shape, but a very nice class. Let's give these kids a hand for bringing them out. Results from Class 7A Hereford Market Hogs is as follows. First to Maiden Story, second to Bryce Dennis, third to Aubrey O'Meara. Reading down the program, two, three, one. In the ring at this time, we have Class 7B Hereford Market Hogs. Three entries, Haley Bittinger, Lucy Flynn, Ryan O'Meara. Weights range between 268 and 269. Another really nice class of Hereford Market Hogs and a really lean, fresh kind of hog to go ahead and win. Love the pliability and turn to this one's upper forerib. I think this one's back shape is as fresh as any in this particular class. Plenty square as it goes away from me. If you want to be a little critical, yeah, we got to go ahead and lay that one back in its knee. But that's been awfully critical of a nice one to win. Take nothing away from the young man's here in second. This one, I think, probably offers the most spread at the base of his chest floor relative to the two others out here. Offers the most spread uh, from stifle to stifle. For me, he just gets a little raw behind, a little bit plainer at the base of its jaw, wants to crash in terms of where that knee sits relative to his shoulder. Then as we round out the class, uh, a really uh, lean kind of hog, one that we got to go ahead and just intensify and soften in terms of its body shape maybe make it a little bit denser in terms of its feature to move up any higher in this particular class. Results of Class 7B Hereford Market Hogs. First to Haley Bittinger, second to Ryan O'Meara, and third to Lucy Flynn. Moving on to Hereford Market Hogs, Class 7C. We have entries from Emma Harrison. Caroline Schindler has two entries. Blaine Edwards has one entry, and Andrew Natz has an entry. Weights range from 273 to 279. We are looking for Class 7D Hereford Market Hogs to start making their way to the loading pen, 7D.
really loose made hog in the one in front of me to go ahead and lead this class. One that's incredibly square and bold at the base of his chest floor carries that all the way back. He's big and dense as he goes away from you. If you'd like to get critical on him, you'd maybe like to intensify him in terms of his width of skull, maybe like to make him a bit larger in terms of his rear foot. Young Lady's Hog that comes out here in second is probably the one that most closely follows him in terms of body shape and turn out of the back side of its shoulder as the drive wears on. This one wants to get a little steeper in its rump structure, consequently wants to camp that rear leg up a bit more. Young man that comes out here in third, really loose constructed kind of hog, just gets a little plainer in terms of its look ahead of its shoulder. Again, we gotta go ahead and square it up in terms of its hip design. Then as we round out the class, couple hogs that have pl plenty in terms of volume of muscle. We just got to make them a bit sharper in terms of their shape, maybe soften them in terms of their lower body cavities, relax them in their out or in their entire skeletal design. Very nice class. Let's give these kids a hand. Entering the ring at this time, we have class 7D with entries that include Haley Becker, Harper McGrath, and John Harrison. Pigs are weighing 280 to 295. Results from our last class is as follows. First to Andrew Natz, second to Emma Harrison, third to Blaine Edwards, fourth to Caroline Schindler, and fifth to Caroline Schindler. Tag number 2159. Following along in your program, 24531. We need the following Hereford exhibitors back to the holding pins. Maiden Story, Haley Bittinger, and Andrew Natz. Really freshly presented hog to go ahead and win this particular class. Love this one's density, density of skeleton as you read this one at the surface. Really bold and pliable in terms of his body cavity. Fresh in terms of his shape up high. Nice one to start. Maybe needs to be squared up in terms of how he goes away from you. And that's where the one in second does have an advantage. He is a little bit square in terms of how he brings that rear leg forward. Maybe a little bit more flexible in terms of how his skeleton's put together. Unfortunately, that maybe begins to work to his detriment. He gets a little bit easier right in the front side of his loin edge. Maybe isn't quite as attractive up to his front one third. Young man's that comes out in third, really bold body kind of hog that's as big backed and as stout hipped as any we've seen come through the ring today. Unfortunately, he just doesn't carry that to the surface. Also isn't quite as confident in terms of where he wants to set that rear foot down. Very nice class. Let's give these kids a hand. In the ring at this time, we have Haley Bittinger at a class seven. B with a Hereford weighing 268. From class 7A, Maiden Story with a Hereford weighing 247. Andrew Natz is representing class 7C, his Herefords weighing in at 279. And from our last class, 7C, we have Harper McGrath 
with a Hereford Wayne 284. We are moving into our spot division. Spots, class 10A to ringside. Won't take too much time on the mic here. I think there's one that came out in its respective class and hit me awfully hard. It continues to do so as we bring him out here and ask him to drive. Young man directly in front of me is going to go ahead and win your Herefords. We are bringing. We are bringing Emma Harrison back to the ring with her second place. Emma's Herford is weighing in at two seventy three. She's coming. In contention for reserve Herford, we have Emma Harrison. Definitely gets a little bit closer out here for reserve, uh, but kind of staying with the trend we've been going with all day in terms of height to shoulder, look and design from the side while still being bold and pliable in their body cavity. The young lady who have a second in that class will be reserve. Your, reserve, your champion, Herford, was exhibited by Andrew Natz, and that trophy was donated by North Carroll Veterinary Service, Dr. K. Wagner. Your reserve champion, Herford, was exhibited by Emma Harrison, and her trophy was donated by R.F. Warner Sons. We are now ready for our spot division. We have eight entries in this class including Easton Smith, Aubrey Fair, Sawyer McGrew, I'm sorry, Caden Reed, Alex, I'm sorry, there's just three in this class, Easton, Aubrey, and Sawyer. We're looking for class 10B spot market hogs to start making their way ringside.
definitely not the stoutest within this particular class, uh, but I think this hog is enough of a skeletal advantage over the two that go behind it. Uh, I think you got to go ahead and land on this one and do it quite comfortably in my mind. Love the set to this one's shoulder and knee. This one's incredibly square coming and going from you. Of course, if you want to change this one, you got to go ahead and open it up at the top side of its skeleton. I think this one's better days are on down the road yet. And for a lightweight spot, I like that one a great deal. Now, if you want to talk skeletal density and one that's just robust and opened up in terms of its cage, it's the one that goes ahead and goes second. This one's really open in terms out of the back side of its shoulder. He's really big and square in terms of his shape up high. Love how he goes away from me. This one just gets a little bit more upright in terms of the slope to his shoulder. Wants to camp that rear leg up under it and while he's at it. Maybe gets a little crestier at the top side of his neck. And as we round out the class, really raw, shapely kind of hog. Begins to work to its disadvantage. Gets a little piecier at the front side of its loin edge. Just can't get it to go uh, piece together quite as well as the two that go ahead of it in this particular class. Let's give these kids a hand. Moving right along, results of Class 10A Spot Market Hogs. First to Sawyer McGrew, second to Aubrey Fair, third to Easton Smith. Class 10B Spot Market Hogs has the following five exhibitors. Caden Reed, Alexia Cornett, Aubrey Miller, Bryce Dennis, and Delaney Smith. Pigs in this class are weighing 260 to 266. Spot exhibitors in class 10C. Be at your pens, you're gonna start moving to the holding area. Again, exhibitors in class 10C. Please be at your pens, we're gonna be moving you to the holding area. Really, really nice pair of barrows up here at the top end of this class. And, you know, if you want to talk types and kinds, I think these guys are absolutely polarizing. For me, the one that's probably the most genuine in terms of his squareness, the most genuine in the spread to its body cavity, it's the young man that goes ahead and leads off this particular class. 
Love this one's density. Love how square he is up high. I think he has an advantage in terms of where his tail root sits and how he utilizes his rear leg over the one that goes second. Yes, the one that goes second is a little fresher through its front one third, a little taller at the point of its shoulder. Unfortunately, this one gets a little bit more or a little bit less descript as you read him out of the top side of his blade. Maybe doesn't quite use his hind leg as well as the one that goes ahead of it wants to swivel in its hip. And I think that's largely because he is a little shorter um, in terms of his hip design. Young ladies that comes out here in third, or young mans that comes out here in third, really loose made kind of hog. Uh, one that's really dense in terms of its body cavity. Just gets too closed up coming at me. A little plainer in its outward design. Young ladies that comes out next, really big shape kind of hog, fresh at the top side of its skeleton. Just gets too upright off of both ends of its skeleton. And then as we round out the class, um, really fresh, lean kind of hog. Just reads too hard in terms of its lower body cavity. Need to make it go a little more comfortably, allow it to relax in the center portion of its spine. Results of our last class, spot market hogs in class 10B, first went to Caden Reed, second to Alexia Cornett, third to Bryce Dennis, fourth to Aubrey Miller, and fifth to Delaney Smith. In the ring at this time, we have our last spot market hog class. This class includes six exhibitors, Chase Wright, Riley Freeman, Haley Bittinger, Kaysen Wetzel, Haley Becker, Gabe Dell. Weights on these spot market hogs range from 277 to 295. If you're following along in your program, reading down for class 10B, here is your placings. One, two, four, three, and five. Immediately following this class, we will be selecting our champion and reserve champion spot market hog. We will then have a special presentation from the Feaser family.
Really awesome design spot, Barra, to go ahead and lead off this particular class. Love this one's height, the shoulder. Love his underlying progression and how he balances up from the side. I think this one's tail root is so, so cool. I think his hind leg is very square in terms of how he brings it forward. If you want to get a little critical of him, he is maybe a titch straight in terms of the design to his shoulder, but that gives him a shot more added look over the one that goes ahead and goes second. Really bold design kind of hog that goes second really square in his design, arguably has the advantage in terms of the set to that one's shoulder and knee to the one that goes ahead of it. To me, this one just gets a little more mature in terms of his jawline, maybe a little bit less descript at the top side of its skeleton. Young man that comes out next, really long bodied extended kind of pig. Love this one, this pig's front one third. To me, just gets a little rounder and his hip design wants to camp that rear leg up. Hog that comes out next is one that's, again, really fresh in terms of his shape up high. Just gets a little rounder in terms of his hip design. Wants to get more closed at his chest floor and knees. He comes directly at you. Then as we round out the class, a pair of hogs that are, have plenty in terms of volumes and muscle. We just got to make them a bit better skeleton, a little fresher in their outward design to move them up any higher. Let's give these kids a big round of applause for their efforts. Congratulations. Our last class of spots are as follows. First to Chase Wright, second to Haley Bittinger, third to Gabe Dell, fourth to Kaysen Wetzel, fifth to Riley Freeman, sixth to Haley Becker. Reading down the program, one, five, two, four, six, and three. Entering the ring at this time, we have Caden Reed, with a Barrow Spot Market Hog weighing 260 pounds. From class 10A is Sawyer McGrew, and his spot gilt is weighing 247. From our last class of heavyweight spots, we have Chase Wright, his spot is weighing 277 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for all of our spot exhibitors. We have Yorks entering the ring. Yorks are entering the ring, but immediately following this, the Feaser family will make a presentation if they can gather here at the gate entrance. The Feaser family to the gate entrance. Really phenomenal group of spots out here and uh, a group of spots that maybe differ a little bit in terms of types and kinds. Uh, but when you begin to balance them out and find the one that puts the most pieces of good together, I think there's one that's fairly easy to land on. There's one that's got a fat rear leg. There's one that's square coming and going. He's big in terms of his shape up high. The young man across the ring from me will win. Entering the ring at this time is Alexia Cornett. She's from class 10B in contention for reserve. Her spot market hog is weighing 264. We drop out the reserve from that class and it, it certainly doesn't detriment the quality in my mind. You know, we talked in class about how that one uh, most closely pushed our, uh, pushed the class winner of that particular class as hard as any second had that day. I thought they matched up incredibly well. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep them together. And your reserve spot was exhibited by Alexia Cornett out of class 10B. In the ring at this time, we are going to bring the Feaser family.
At this time, the Fieser family would like to recognize the past winners and please join us at the ring if you are nearby. Allison Stoner, Allison Schultz, Caleb Chamberlain, Andrew Natz. The Frank Fieser Memorial Merit Award is presented to a Carroll County 4-H or FFA member who's competed, completed a swine project in Carroll County for the last three years. This award is earned through scores accumulated from five contests, including public speaking or demonstration at a county level, skillathon, livestock judging, swine showmanship, breeding or market swine. It was Frank's wish to give this award to an individual achieving excellence in skills and knowledge of swine industry. Participation in these contests achieved that goal. Frank Fieser grew up in Carroll County and devoted his life to the development of youth in this county and beyond. He was a promoter of all things swine and other livestock as well. For five years, he and Lawrence Meeks worked together as co-chairman and development and construction of the Shipley Arena. Our thanks go to the many generous donors to Frank's Memorial Award, we were able to give $1,000 to a well-deserving person this year. We would like to recognize our second place individual, Caleb Chamberlain, but he was edged out by 10 points, and this year's Frank Fieser Memorial Award is awarded to Andrew Natz. Again, Andrew will be receiving a thousand dollars. This is not a scholarship. This is an award that is given and can be used as Andrew further reaches in the production of his swine projects. Congratulations to all our entrants and all participants. And thank you, Frank Fieser, for your legacy lives on. We're now ready to move into our Yorkshire division. I have not announced that your champion spot was exhibited by Caden Reed and your reserve by Alexia Cornett. Yorkshires are hitting the ring at this time. Our first Yorkshire class includes four entries. Tyler Burrell, Ryan O'Meara, Eliza Hockhauser, and Andrew and Kinley Andrew. Your Yorkshire Market Hogs in Class 13B need to be at, the, at their pens so they can be brought to the ready ring. Again, Yorkshire Market Hogs in Class 13B exhibitors at your ring. Yorkshires in the ring are weighing 245 to 255.
really logical place to start here in this first class of Yorkshire market homes. Uh, one that I think in terms of skeletal design and skeletal integrity, you have to love this thing. He's set back in his knee. He's incredibly comfortable how he ties the neck out of his neck out of the top side of his shoulder. He's really well balanced in terms of his proportions from the side of that one's hip and rear leg. One that probably most fo closely follows it in terms of skeletal density and, and having the right kind of market hog proportions from the side is the young, young lady's longer tailed hog. Um, there in the corner. This is another one that's short backed. I love his width and proportions from the side. He's square in terms of the utilization of his rear leg relative to the one that goes ahead of it. He's a bit more jammed up and mature in terms of his skull design, but that's been awfully critical of a nice one to go second. Young lady that's third. Love the length and extension that this hog offers. One that's incredible, incredibly pliable in terms of his body cavity. Maybe wants to close at the surface as he comes directly at you maybe gets a little bit longer bodied, can't quite get it to proportion up and balance up quite as well as the two that go ahead of it. And then as we round out the class, another really bold, long, productive kind of hog, just gets a little plainer in its outward design, a little plainer in terms of its throat latch and jaw. Let's give these kids a big round of applause. Congratulations to your Yorkshire market hog exhibitors. In class 13A, first to Ryan O'Meara, second to Eliza Hockhauser, third to Kinley Andrew, and fourth to Tyler Burrell. Moving into class 13B, Yorkshire Market Hogs, Haley Becker, Delaney Smith, Mackenzie Weaver, and Jax Brown. We need class 13C Yorkshire Market Hog exhibitors to their pen. You will be loading shortly. I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Boone Schmitz grew up on his family's commercial cattle operation in Mineral Point, Wisconsin, where he enjoyed showing and fitting lambs and market hogs on a state and national levels. He was the 2021 graduate from Iowa University with an undergraduate degree in biology and is currently pursuing his DVM at the University of Minnesota College of Veterinary Medicine. While at Iowa State, he was a member of the 2020 Livestock Judging Team and had numerous top finishes as an individual and as a team. Boone currently works as a herdsman at Johnson Family Showstock and Tibbetts Livestock while judging numerous shows around the country. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome Boone Schmitz here to our market show this evening. Another really nice Yorkshire barrow to go ahead and lead off this class. One that's incredibly dense in terms of the shape through his skull. Carries that all the way back at the top side of his skeleton. He's big, he's square, he's fresh. Love how sound he is from the side. He's incredibly flexible in terms of his knee. Prefer the squareness of his hind leg relative to the one that goes second. Really short bodied, really <laughs> well balanced kind of hog. Uh, from the side here in second. For me, this one gets a bit more mature at the top side of its neck. Maybe isn't quite as comfortable in terms of how he drives that rear leg back past his pin set. Young lady that comes out here in third is one that has a really bold, open-bodied kind of hog. Love how pliable it is in terms of its rib shape. For me, this one sets on the edge of its skeleton in terms of where its hocks at relative to its pin set. Also reads a little bit frailer in terms of its skull. And then as we round out the class, really long, uh, productive kind of hog, one that wants to roll in on its front feet while getting a little bit more upright in terms of its blade. I think if we could fix it in terms of its front one-third structure, that one could stand to move up in this particular class. Let's give these kids a hand. Congratulations to our exhibitors in Class 13B Yorkshire Market Hogs, first to Jax Brown, 
second to Delaney Smith, third to Mackenzie Weaver, and fourth to Haley Becker. Entering the ring at this time, we have Yorkshire Market Hogs Class 13C. We have Travis Green, Meredith Handelman, Madeline Dell, Boyd Bechtel, and Haley Becker. Market Hogs in this class ranging in weight from 278 to 291. We will be bringing Ryan O'Meara and Wes and Jax Brown back to select our champion Yorkshire immediately following this class. Really nice class winner to go ahead and land on there in the corner. One that probably puts the most together in terms of fundamentals. One that's got a really neat look ahead of its blade. One that's plenty comfortable in terms of its structure. Love its squareness coming and going. Really fresh presented hog here in second. One that I love its height the shoulder. I love his genuine squareness coming and going. There are just times I wish I could get him to pick his head up, allow him to get just a little bit fresher of a look there at the base of its jawline. Young man that goes third, really dense shaped one up high, one that's big and fresh and shapely. Unfortunately, doesn't match that at the ground, reads a bit more counterfeit in terms of his spread and muscularity. Hogs that come out next are uh, very nice, high quality hogs that are bold and productive in terms of their kind. They just get a little plainer in their outward appearance, maybe need fixed in an area or two as you begin to break them down scoutily. Let's give these kids a hand. Results of our last class of Yorkshires is as follows. First to Boyd Bechtel, second to Madeline Dell, third to Travis Green, fourth to Meredith Handelman, and fifth to Haley Becker. We are now gonna select our champion York and reserve champion York. We do have two very important announcements to make at this time to all exhibitors and all family. First, nominations are open at the picnic table in front of Tubby's. You must nominate your pig this evening before the end of the sh by the end of the show. You must wait until after you've shown your pig. And the exhibitor must be the person to nominate their pig. 
The next announcement is we've had clarification on when all non-sale pigs need to be removed from the building. All non-sale pigs need to be out of the building by tomorrow evening, Thursday, August 1st, by 11 p.m. Pigs must go home by Thursday, August 1st, at 11 p.m. if they are not in the sale. Thank you all for your cooperation. Hogs are getting a little bit worked up out, out here, but uh, that's all right. I kind of have my mindset in terms of where I want to be and which one I like the best. There's one that I think ha that has big feet at the ground. He's bold in terms of his body cavity, and he still offers an awesome silhouette. The young man out of your last class will go ahead and win your Yorkshires. In contention for reserve, we still have Ryan O'Meara, Jax Brown, and now Madeline Dell. Your champion, York, was exhibited by Boyd Bechtel. When the young lady gets under that pig's head and gets that one to drive, I like that one a great deal. I think his silhouette is right. I think his proportions are right. I think he maybe balances up a nickel better than the two behind him. That one's gonna go ahead and be reserved. And your reserve champion, Yorkshire Market Hog, was exhibited by Madeline Dell. We're gonna be ready to start our all other breed division at this time. We do wanna thank Alex Shapiro, for donating both the champion and reserve champion market hog trophy. We are starting in our all other breed division with Jacob Braun, Cadbury Turner, Jarrett Hurd, and Cade Stamball. Weights on our all other breed hogs range from 242 to 255. Looking at the pigs in the holding pen, it looks like we have a Poland, two Hampshires, and a Tamworth. Bit of a challenging class here in terms of types and kinds uh, but I think just in terms of skeletal integrity the young man's Hampshire barrel needs to go ahead and win I think this one is the most comfortable in terms of how his front one-third is constructed he's incredibly fresh in terms of his shape up high really flexible behind he maybe wants to duck his pin set and step to the outside of his body cavity but I still think he utilizes his hawk plenty flexible enough for me the one that probably most follows, closely follows it in terms of type and kind and spread is the young man's Tamworth Gilt. One that's, again, very fresh in terms of its shape up high. Love its spread behind. Maybe is a little more comfortable in the utilization of its hind leg. Just gets a bit more upright in terms of its shoulder. A little frailer in terms of its skull design. Young lady's Poland Barrel that goes third is one that is really dense in terms of its kind. I love that one's body cavity. To me, that one just doesn't blend together good enough in terms of his transition points. He needs fixed on either end of his skeleton. Then as we round out the class, 
the young man's Hampshire gilt, one that's really fresh in terms of her shape up high, really expressive in terms of her muscularity. She gets a little harder in terms of her lower body shape, a little bit more one-dimensional off the either, end, either end of her skeleton while being a nickel upright. Results of your AOB class 16A is as follows. First to Jacob Braun, second to Jarrett Hurd, third to Cabri Turner, Cabri Turner. I'll get it right yet, Cabri. Fourth to Cade Stamball. Reading down your program, one, three, two, and four. We're now ready for class 16B, all other breed market hogs. Entries include Colby Wetzel, Elena Enoff, Cassidy Lewis, Tuck Stamball, and Aubrey Miller. Market hogs are weighing 266 to 271. Again, we have Tamworths, Hampshires, and it looks like a Chester. We do need our last class of AOBs to start making their way to the ready ring. Young Ladies Chester Barrow is an awfully nice one to find to go ahead and lead off this particular class. I think in terms of squareness and genuine spread coming and going, you have to appreciate this thing. He's incredibly smooth in terms of his transition points. I love his balance and proportions from the side, big and shapely as you study him up high. That's a nice one to go ahead and win. Take nothing away from the young lady's Hampshire barrel that goes ahead and goes second. I love this thing ahead of its shoulder. This is one that's long and extended. He's set back in his knee, and he's incredibly bold in terms of his body cavity. It's as you begin to break him down in terms of his hip and hind leg construction, you get a bit more critical of this one. Gets a little rounder in his upper hip design. Wants to duck his pin set and set wide in terms of his rear foot. Young ladies, Tamworth Bear that goes in three, raw, shapely kind of hog that's fresh in terms of his pre presentation. For me, this one gets far too upright in terms of his shoulder, step in behind it. He wants to pressurize on the outside of his hoof wall and roll out in terms of his hawk. And then young man's Tamworth Bear that goes ahead and goes uh, fourth is one that, again, is bold in terms of its body cavity, just gets too stale up high. Then as we round out the class, raw, shapely kind of pig, needs to be a little smoother in his transition points, a little more open in terms of his body cavity coming and going. Let's give these kids a hand. Results of class 16B is as follows. First to Cassidy Lewis, second to Aubrey Miller, third to Elena Enoff, fourth to Tuck Stamball, and fifth to Colby Wetzel. You're following along down your program, five, three, one, four, and two. Entering the ring at this time, we have two, looks like Tamworths in our all other breeds, 279 to 280. Really logical place to start in this class, and a hog I like a great deal. Love this one's squareness at chest floor. Think this one's incredibly fresh in terms of his presentation and shape out of the top side of its blade. Think he's plenty square going away from me, or she is. If you want to get critical of her, she gets a little bit staler there at the edge of her loin. Maybe like the smoother out there, make her a bit fresher there. But that's been awfully critical of a nice Tamworth gilt to go ahead and win this class. Take nothing away from the young lady's Tamworth barrel that goes second. 
one that's bold and productive in terms of its body cavity. He's big and open and square at the top side of his blade. For me, this one just gets a little bit staler in terms of its outward presentation, pushing a little bit more throat latch and cheek than I'd like to see today, but still a bold, productive hog. Nice one to go second. We're gonna bring out six from the last, we're gonna bring out Jacob Braun from class 16A. This AOB weighing 242. Cassidy Lewis comes out of our 16B class with a Chester weighing 267. And from our last class 16C, Andrew Natz has a Tamworth weighing 280 pounds. We are looking for lightweight crossbred. We are moving into the crossbred division. Bring your lightweight crosses. Class 19A. We drop these AOBs back out here for a champion AOB drive and really impressed with the line of quality we have out here for being so few within their breeds. I think there are two unique individuals out here um, that definitely differ in terms of their type and kind. There are two that are very polarizing in terms of what they have to offer, uh, but yet I think in terms of total uh, volume of quality that they possess, they're very, very good. So if you would, Join me in giving these kids a big round of applause. I'll go ahead and show you the two I like best in the order that I like them. Your champion AOB was exhibited by Cassidy Lewis, and your reserve champion AOB was exhibited by Andrew Natz. And we are moving into the lightweight cross market hog division. And just for those of you who've hung out with us in years before, it is only 8.30. We're doing really well. Our lightweight class 19A has six entries, including Audrey Hockheiser, Gavin Zolman, Emily Fritz, Allison Johnston, Benjamin Fink, and Kaylee Bertier. Weights range from 240 to 249 pounds. We're rolling into crossbreds. Lightweight crossbred exhibitors, you need to be at your pens at this time. Lightweight crossbred exhibitors, at to your pens, please.
really logical place to go ahead and start this particular class. She maybe isn't the highest tying out of the top side of her neck, but she's got plenty of length and extension ahead of her blade. Love her squareness coming, love her squareness going. Really fresh shape up high, good in terms of her rib cage. Like that one a great deal. Take nothing away from the second, the one in second. I love how genuine this one is in terms of her body cavity. This one's got a really square, dense tail root that sits way on the top side of its hip. If I want to get critical on this one, it's coming right at you wants to close at its knee, funnel to the surface ever so slightly. Like the young man's uh, calico barra there in third quite a bit, just from a body composition standpoint. I think he's bold in his upper skeleton. He's really dense in terms of his forerib for me. Just gets a little too plain relative to his weight. Maybe gets a little mo more mature in terms of his shape up high, a little refined as he goes away. Really neat looking kind of pig uh, here in four as you study this one from the side. Just gets too closed up, coming and going. And then as we round out the class, a couple hogs that are really fresh in terms of their skin and hair presentation. They're bold in their body cavities. They're produ productive in the volume of muscle that they have. We just run into too many skeletal issues to move them up any higher in this particular drive. Let's give them a big round of applause. Results of Class 19A, Lightweight Crossbred Market Hogs. First, Emily Fritz. Second, to Callie Bertier. Third, to Benjamin Fink. Fifth, to Gavin Zolman. Sixth, to Allison Mae Johnson. And fourth, went to Aubrey Hockhauser. Reading down your program, four, five, one, six, three, two. In the ring at this time is class 19B with the following eight exhibitors. Brantley Wagner, Alexia Cornett, Ashlyn Harrison, Isaac Marble, Avery Becker, Mesa Williams, Carson Hale, and Levi Savage. Hogs are weighing in at 250 to 257.
really logical class winner in my mind. Uh, when you study this one, coming and going, he's easily the squarest at his knee. He's the squarest in terms of how he utilizes his hind leg. I love this, how fresh this one is at the top side of his skeleton. If you want to get a little critical on him, he wants to duck his pin set ever so slightly, but that's been awfully critical of a nice one to win the class. Take nothing away from the young lady's predominantly black barrel that goes second. I love how loose this one is in terms of his structure from the side. Unfortunately, it begins to work to his detriment. He wants to push and roll in his loin, step in directly behind him. He wants to pressurize on the outside of his hoof wall, get outside of his skeleton while rolling out in his hock. Little tougher pig to read into here in third. One that's maybe not wanting to cooperate today, but I certainly appreciate how this one's laid back in its shoulder and its knee. Love its true body shape, and I love its proportions from the side. I think it's got a big functional rear leg. To me, it maybe just gets a little bit plainer in terms of its design. Maybe is a little bit lazier headed than the ones that go first and second in this particular class. Really good structured one that goes four. One that to me is really fresh in terms of its shape up high. Unfortunately, it just gets a little harder in terms of its lower body shape. Maybe just doesn't offer quite as much true body width and spread as the ones that go ahead of it. Young ladies here in five, stout skulled, big legged pig that maybe is a little bit raw in terms of its muscle shape. Maybe doesn't proportion up quite as well from the side for me. Same can be said for the one here in six, young ladies belted hog. Uh, one that you appreciate its length and extension of body. Unfortunately, just can't get this one to piece together quite as neat as the ones that go ahead of it. Then as we round out the class, two bold body productive hogs just get too plain and stale in their body shape for me to go up any higher in this particular class. Let's give these kids a hand for bringing them out. Results of class. 19B is as follows. First to Levi Savage, second to Alexia Cornett, third to Avery Becker, fourth to Isaac Marble, fifth to Mesa Williams, sixth to Ashlyn Harrison, seventh to Carson Hale, eighth to Brantley Wagner. Reading down your program, eight, two, six, four, three, five, seven, and one. Entering the ring is our last class of lightweight crossbred market hogs. Into the ring we have Ryan Bauerline, Audrey Miller, Cole Townsend, Macy Cagle, Grafton Condon, Luke Miller, and Eva Van Domlin. These lightweights are weighing between 261 and 264.
Really dynamic. Hold on one, please. Excuse me. Can you hold? We're missing a pig. Really polarizing top pair in this particular class, and one that, ones that uh, maybe I think if you could combine the two, you would end up with a pretty awesome looking market hog. Uh, but the one that probably suits me best um, is the little young lady's predominantly black gilt. Uh, this one is incredibly tall at the point of her shoulder. She's fresh at the top side of her skeleton. Love the turn to this one's forerib. When you step in directly behind it, I think her rear leg lands with a little more confidence and a little more squareness relative to the one that goes second. Young ladies, predominantly white hog that lands here in second. I love this one from a feature standpoint. This one offers big pieces in terms of density of skull. It's got a massive forearm and it's got a huge rear leg. Unfortunately, that rear leg wants to set right on the outside of its skeleton. And as he brings it out forward, he wants to land it outside of his body cavity. Study this one from the side. He wants to push and roll in his loin as well. I think that's maybe because he's so big and wide behind. Young man's guilt that goes ahead and comes out here in third is one that probably most closely follows the second place hog in reference to just being dense featured and stout skulled for me she just gets a little plainer in terms of her type and kind today maybe gets a little more mature there at the base of her throat latch really good fundamental guilt here in four one that relative to the three ahead of it just gets too closed up coming at me maybe reads a little bit flatter and plainer as you read into her forerib but she's got a big functional rear leg that I certainly can appreciate young man that comes out in five uh, <clears throat> really fresh shaped hog love that one's leanness express and expression up high for me this one gets too straight in terms of its shoulder and knee need to go ahead and maybe let this one catch another gear. And then as we round out the class, a couple bold, dense-bodied hogs that maybe get a little bit plainer in their outward presentation need to be a little bit <clears throat> better in terms of their skeletons. So the young man with the red hair directly in front of me uh, just told me that it was bir his birthday, so if you would, Please join me in giving this kid a big happy birthday. Thank you so much. Sorry for any confusion. First in that class was Eva Van Donlin. Second was Macy Cagle. 
third was Grafton Condon, fourth to Aubrey Miller, fifth to Luke Miller, sixth to Cole Townsend, and seventh to Ryan Bauerlein. Reading down the program, seven, four, six, two, three, five, and one. We are now gonna select our champion and reserve champion lightweight. So from our class 19A, we have Emily Fritz exhibiting a crossbred wing 243. Levi Savage is coming out of class 19B. His crossbred is weighing 257. And from our last class of 19C, we have Eva Van Domlen. Her pig is weighing 264. In the holding pens, it looks like we're getting ready for our medium weight division, but we are gonna take a quick five minute break between light and medium. Again, we're gonna take a quick five minute break between light and medium. We drop these barrows back out for a, uh, or barrows and a, or excuse me, barrow and two gilts out uh, for an overall uh, lightweight cross. And again, I think these guys, these things are very, very good. I think they're bold in terms of their body cavity. I think they're square in terms of their shape up high. And I think they're tall enough fronted to give a really, really neat look from the side. With that being said, there's one out here that suits me a great deal. There's one out here I like the bunch in class. Let's give these kids a big round of applause and I'll show you the two I like best. Alexia Cornett is coming in for contention. She's from class 19B, and she's exhibiting a crossbred way in 251.
Moving on to our middleweight division, middleweight crossbred market hogs, class 22A, Estella Gover, Josh Green, Luke Miller, Gannon Andrew, Colby McGee, Grayson Von, Van Dommelen, Colby McKenzie, and Mason Spielman. Weights in this class range between 265 and 268. We have eight pigs. We are on the middleweight crossbred division. Middleweight crossbred division. Exhibitors need to be at their pig pens if you have any pigs in the middleweight crossbred division. Attention exhibitors and attending fair. We have a turquoise bracelet here at the stage. A turquoise bracelet has been found. We have it up here at the announcer stage.
there will be an, they will be announcing the results of the livestock judging contest tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. here in the show ring. Again, livestock judging results will be announced here tomorrow at 5 p.m. in the show ring. Thank you. Attention in the barn, attention in the barn. Patty Freeze, Patty Freeze. If you are in the barn, you have someone parked in and they are trying to leave. Patty Freeze, please go move your vehicle at this time. Thank you. Really nice top trio of hogs out here and one that you land on is just so fundamental in terms of its kind. I love its density, its skull, its square coming at you. It's really fresh and shapely up high. Watch that one use its rear leg and I think that one is very, very good. He's maybe not the widest constructed, but I think in terms of putting the pieces together, he probably does it the best. The hog that probably hit me the hardest out of the gate is the young man that goes second. And man, I wanted to use this one so bad. Unfortunately, he's getting a little bit crestier at the top side of his neck. Study that one as he transitions back through his flank. And I just don't think he's good enough there. He's one that's starting to push a nickel, little bit of flank. Really good constructed guilt to go ahead and go third. Love her shape up high. Love the set to her shoulder and the de design to her rear leg. For me, she's a little lower in terms of how her neck attaches on the front side of her skeleton. Gets a little steeper in her hip design. Young man's predominantly black bear that comes out here in, in four is one that from the, the side is so neat in its design. Love his elevation of front one third. Love his tail root. For me, this one gets too counterfeit as you study its muscle shape up high. He wants to close up underneath, wants to roll out in his hawk as you study him going away. Really good, well-balanced, fundamental kind of show pig out here. To me, just gets a little plainer in terms of his shape as you study him at the top side of his skeleton. Really nice, fresh shape kind of pig uh, with the young man's predominantly black barrel. To me, gets a little plainer up through its front one third, a little more upright in its knee. I think if we could fix that one in those few areas, that one would be awfully nice. And as we round out the class, a couple of bold, productive, bodied kind of hogs just need to make them a bit fresher in their outward appearance. Let's give these kids a big round of applause. Congratulations to our first middleweight class. The results of class 22A is as follows. First to Stella Gover, second to Mason Spielman, third to Colby McKenzie, fourth to Grayson Van Domlin, fifth to Luke Miller, sixth to Josh Green, and seventh to Colby McGee, eighth to Gannon Andrew. If you're reading down your program, one, six, five, eight, seven, four, three, and two. Entering the ring at this time, we have middleweights, class 22B. We have the following exhibitors in this class, Kenley Cagle, Libby Green, Emily Hebron, Cadence Hoy, Sienna Sanat, Josh Green, and Abigail Schindler. Weights for that class, range from 271 to 273. At the conclusion of this class, 
we will be selecting our champion and reserve champion middleweight crossbred. Again, at the end of this class, we will select our champion and reserve champion middleweight crossbred. We need all heavyweight crossbred market hog exhibitors to their pens at this time. Heavyweight crossbred market hog exhibitors, you need to be at your pens. Really awesome barrow to study from the side to go ahead and win this class. Love this one coming at you. Love his height, the shoulder. Think he's fresh in his shape up high. Good in his lower body dimensions. One area you get critical on him is as he goes directly away. He wants to get a little wide of this hawk. Isn't quite as comfortable in terms of how he, he goes off his rear too. Young lady's blue hog is easily the stoutest and most shapely up high. I love this thing's muscularity as you step up on it and study its back shape. Love its width and spread as you go in behind it. For me, this one gets too steep in terms of its hip design, maybe a bit more upright in terms of its shoulder. Young lady that comes out in third, love the silhouette of this pig, one that balances and proportions so well in my mind, just gets too closed up at its chest floor. Young ladies that comes out next is one that, again, tall fronted kind of hog that's got width and muscularity, gets a little bit plainer in terms of its jawline, a little bit plainer as it transitions down into its heart girth and lower body shape. And then as we round out the class, uh, bold, productive kinds of hogs that uh, maybe just need to be a little bit sharper at the top sides of their necks, a little bit better in their edges to move up any higher in this particular class. Let's give these kids a hand. Results of middleweight class 22B is as follows. First to Kinley Cagle, second to Cadence Hoy, third to Sienna Sanat, fourth to Abigail Schindler, fifth to Libby Green, sixth to Josh Green, seventh to Emily Hebron. We are now gonna select our champion and reserve champion middleweight crossbred market hog. Your trophies are donated by Honey Hay Farm, the Rabiati family, and Lila and Dick Weaver. From Class 22A, exhibiting a middleweight weighing 265, we have Estella Gover. From Class 22B, exhibiting a middleweight weighing 271, we have Kenley Cagle.
Really phenomenal set of middleweights to go ahead and sort through. I thought both of those classes had a tremendous amount of quality to offer. With that being said, there is one hog out here that suits me a nickel better in terms of hind leg squareness and just overall structural integrity. Young lady ahead of me is going to go ahead and win the middleweights. Mason Spielman is making his way to the ring with class 22A second place in contention for reserve. Your middleweight champion was exhibited by Estella Gober. We dropped the second out from that class, and I certainly don't think he detriments the quality at all. I think it's maybe a little bit closer as we get out here for reserve, but with that being said, in my mind, again, like I said in the previous uh, pair, I think there's one that offers a shot more in terms of hind leg squareness, integrity. The young man with second will go ahead and be reserved. Your champion middleweight again was exhibited by Estella Gover, and your reserve middleweight was exhibited by Mason Spielman. We are now ready to move into our heavyweight division. Our first class of heavyweights is 22A. We have the following six exhibitors, Owen Hackler, Brennan Harrison, Madis Madison Laney, Aubrey Fair, Andrew Natz, and Riley Coles. Heavyweights are ranging from 274 to 277. Heavyweight crossbred market hog exhibitors in class 25 B and C. All heavyweight market hog exhibitors must be at their pens at this time. Bryce Dennis, or a member of his family, please come to the announcer stand. Bryce Dennis, or a member of his family, please come to the announcer stand.
attention in the swine exhibitor area, attention swine exhibitor area. If you are not a parent, guardian of an exhibitor showing, you need to move to the bleachers at this time. Again, if you are not a parent or an exhibitor, you need to move to one of the viewing bleachers or out here in the show ring at this time. We ask that only parents and exhibitors are in the show area during our show. Thank you. Extremely high quality calico gilt to go ahead and lead off this class. I love her length and extension ahead of her blade. I think her, her forehead and skull design is so good. And then when you transition back into the top side of her skeleton, she's big, she's broad, she's ditched up. She's very, very good that way, square behind. I think she has the structural advantage in terms of where her rear leg lands over the one that goes second. Really dense made kind of hog to go second. Love this one's height, the shoulder. Love how fresh this one is at the top side of its skeleton. For me, this one maybe wants to get outside of itself as you step in behind it. It's maybe not quite as fresh as you study it at the top side of its neck and down into its jawline. Young lady that comes out here in third, again, love just how stout mug this thing is. This thing's got a big old broad forehead on it. It comes at you with a wide chest floor, really expressive and shapely up high. Just gets a little raw in terms of her loin edge. Isn't quite as neat in terms of how she ties her neck out of her shoulder. Really extreme featured kind of hog. Massive shoulder or massive blade, massive forearm. Love this one's rear leg. Think it's plenty stout as it goes away. For me, this one just gets a little bit plainer in terms of its head shape. Wants to roll out in its hawk ever so slightly. Then as we round out the class, a couple of hogs that are are good in terms of their length of body and their proportions from the side. I just think we gotta go ahead and crack them open off either end of their skeleton, give them a shot more muscularity to move up in this particular drive. Let's give these kids a hand. Congratulations to our exhibitors in class 25A heavyweight crossbred market hogs. First to Riley Coles, second to Andrew Nats. Third to Madison Laney, fourth to Brennan Harrison, fifth to Aubrey Fair, and sixth to Owen Hackler. We're now ready for our Class 25B heavyweight crossbred market hogs. We have five entries in this class, and entries include Benjamin Fink, Libby Green, Kelsey Zepp, Hunter Livingston, and Brady Black. Hogs in this class are weighing between 280 and 284. Class 25C, Class 25C, please make your way to ringside. This is our last class of the evening, Class 25C. Heavyweight crossbred market hogs.
Really nice haul, getting the young ladies Calico Barrow to lead off this class. One that, in terms of silhouettes from the side, is very good. I love this underlying balance and symmetry. I think this one's fresh and shapely at the top side of its skeleton. I think it's plenty mobile enough as you study it from the side. Again, if you want to get critical of this one, it wants to throw that left rear leg out ever so slightly as you step in behind it, but that's been awfully critical of a good one. Take nothing away from the, the young man's partial belted gilt out here off to my right. This thing is a stout-headed one that is really big in terms of her forearm and rear leg. I love her shape that she offers up high. For me, she gets a little steeper in her hip structure, wants to push a little bit back in her flank, maybe has a little bit of a glandular issue there, uh, but that's a nice one to go ahead and go second. Young man's calico gilt that goes third. Really love her length and extension ahead of her shoulder. I think she's plenty functional in terms of her structure. To me, she reads a little plainer in terms of her body shape, a little frailer in terms of her skull. Really fresh, shapely one here in four. Uh, one that really offers a ton of spread and pliability to its body cavity. Just gets a little bit plainer in its outward design. Maybe like to lift its ear set up a nickel. As we round out the class, a really bold, functional kind of hog that's got the right kind of volume of muscle. We just need to square it up at the top side of its skeleton, allow it to use its rear leg a bit more freely as it goes directly away from you. But a very nice class. Let's give these kids a big hand. Results of Class 25B Heavyweight Crossbred Market Hogs. First to Kelsey Zepp, second to Benjamin Fink, third to Hunter Livingston, fourth to Libby Green, and fifth to Brady Black. For those of you following along in our program, reading down 24135, I'm gonna say it, this is our last full class of crossbred market hogs this evening. Class 25C, we have six entries who include Meredith Handelman, Colby McKenzie, Trenton Sweeney, Mackenzie Reese, Alexis Arbaugh, and Atlee Hoy. Weights on these heavyweights range from 287 to 292. We will need our first and second places on standby for our selection of our heavyweight champion and reserve.
really nice class to go ahead and end the day. Uh, and I think the young lady's predominantly white gilt. It's a nice place to land on. Really heavy, constructed kind of gilt that's fresh in her shape up high. Love her with coming and going. We just got to relax her in the center portion of her spine, and that would make her awfully, awfully good. And I think that's where the, the hog that goes second and the blue hip barrel uh, it maybe is better. He's a bit more relaxed in the center portion of his spine. I love the width and spread density that he offers up high. Really flexible, unique kind of hind leg. For me, this one gets too closed up coming at me. Gets a little plainer there at the base of its jaw. I'm not sure what kind of, uh, somebody was getting creative with the matings on this one, and I think they were going for a home run. And man, I think if those black spots weren't there, they would be darn close. Uh, this one is incredibly square coming and going. I love this one's build and flexibility from the side. Unfortunately, this one gets a little too flat-footed for me. Wants to roll in as it comes right at you. Maybe gets a little higher in its jump muscle. Gives the illusion that it's a little steeper hip from the side. But man, that one's awfully intriguing to read into. Young man's belted hog that comes out next is one that is really fresh in terms of its shape. One that's got a lot of muscularity built into it. Just gets a little shorter and steeper in its hip design. Starting to push a little more chub there at the base of its jaw. Really nice silhouetted hog here. Just gets too closed up coming at you. Leaves you too narrow as it transi transitions to the surface. I think if we can crack that one open, that one could stand to move up in class. Then as we round out the class, love the volume of muscle that this hog has, especially as it goes directly away, at, away from you. I love the spread that it offers at the top side of its blade. We just gotta go ahead and open it up in the center portion of its body cavity, maybe intensify it in its feature to move it up. Very nice class, let's give those kids a hand. Results of our last class, a heavyweight crossbreds. First to Colby McKenzie, second to Atlee Hoy, third to Meredith Handelman, fourth to Trenton Sweeney, fifth to McKenzie Reese, sixth to Alexis Arball. Reading down your program, three, one, four, five, six, and two. Into the ring, we bring our class 25B heavyweight exhibitor, Miss Kelsey Zepp, and her pig is weighing in at 282. From class 25A, we have Riley Coles exhibiting a crossbred weighing 277. And from our last class is Colby McKenzie with a crossbred weighing 287. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your heavyweight crossbred market hog drive. Really, really pleased with the lineup of heavyweight crossbreds we have out here. I think we've got uh, three hogs out here that each exemplify a tremendous amount of quality from their respective classes, and I'm really high on each of these. With that being said, uh, there's one out here that I think takes things to the next level. There was one that hit me extremely hard within their respective class, and I just can't quite get over her. the young lady with the calico gilt in the middle of the ring will be a champion heavyweight. And Riley Coles, it was named your champion heavyweight exhibitor. We need 22, uh, uh, <laughs> Andrew Nats.
Andrew Nats returns from class 22A with a cross spread weigh in 277 in contention for reserve heavyweight. So we dropped that second place out from that uh, middle or that first class of heavyweights. Uh, I certainly don't think it detriments the quality out here. As we said in class, this thing is dense. This thing is robust in terms of its shape up high. The question I have is, is he good enough at the top side of his neck? Is he good enough or is she good enough going directly away from you? And asking that question, I think uh, there's maybe one out here that suits me a nickel better. The young lady with the calico going across the ring will be reserved. Result of your heavyweight division is as follows. Congratulations, Riley Coles, with your champion heavyweight market hog, and Kelsey Zepp exhibited your reserve champion heavyweight market hog. We are now gonna select our champion overall crossbred market hog. So from the light, from the lightweight division, we have Levi Savage. His market hog came in at 257 pounds. Your middleweight champion is exhibited by Estella Gover and weighs 265 pounds. And our heavyweight champion is Riley Coles, and her pig is weighing in at 277. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our champion crossbred market hog drive. If you had a breed champion, if you had a breed champion, you need to be making your way to the holding pens. Breed champions, make your way to the holding pens. We drop our divisions, division winners out here for an overall crossbred market hog, and I really couldn't be more pleased with the lineup I have out here. Though they're different in terms of types and kinds as you study them, 
uh, from the outside of the ring. I think that they each embody a lot of the similar traits that it takes to go ahead and be a good market hog. They're all extremely stout in terms of their skull and jawline. They're all very square in terms of how they come at you. They're fresh in terms of their shape up high, and they're good as they go directly away from you in terms of their hind leg flexibility. With that being said, there's one out here that hit me incredibly hard. There's one that's got a tremendous amount of stature at the top end of its skeleton. Go ahead and uh, give these kids a big round of applause, and I'll show you the crossbred I like best. Your champion overall crossbred was exhibited by Riley Coles. In the ring, we have Kelsey Zepp with her reserve heavyweight weighing 282. Most certainly gets a little bit closer as we drop these pigs back out for reserve. With that being said, uh, there was one that I think is awfully fresh in terms of its type and kind. I love this one's head shape. I love this one's back shape. The young man directly in front of me will go ahead and be reserved. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment so many of us have been waiting for all evening. Your grand champion market swine show drive held here at the Eddie Harrison Jr. Memorial Arena out of our Berkshire division. Your champion is being exhibited by Colby McKenzie. Yeah, you guys can clap. That's a she did a great job. Your Duroc champion is exhibited by Caleb Chamberlain, and that pig is weighing 266. From your Hereford division, your grand your champion Hereford was exhibited by Andrew Nats and weighs 279 pounds your spot champion is being exhibited by Caden Reed and weighs 260 pounds Your champion Yorkshire is exhibited by Boyd Bechtel and is weighing in at 291. Your all other breed champion exhibitor is Cassidy Lewis and she is driving a Chester weighing 267. Your champion crossbred is exhibited by Miss Riley Coles and weighing in at 277. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our awesome exhibitors and our grand champion drive.
Wow, you know, it's been an awfully fun night getting to sort through your hog show. And to be honest with you, it's been a fun two days, uh, even yesterday, coming out in showmanship and getting it to interact with your kids. Um, it's been an absolute blast, and I uh, can't express my gratitude enough for that. Um, with that being said, I do think there's some thank, thank yous that need to be said. First and foremost, let's give a big hand for everyone in the orange shirts and everyone else who made this, this show possible, uh, because without them, uh, it, it'd be nothing short of a miracle to get this thing rolling. As I said, it's been an absolute privilege and a pleasure to be out here. You guys have phenomenal livestock, and I don't say this everywhere I go, but you guys have even better kids. You guys are doing the right thing by getting these kids involved in livestock and getting them involved in agriculture. I can't tell you enough how much that bodes well for their future. Um, when you go into a job interview and you have a livestock background, people understand the responsibility, they understand the accountability, and they understand the work ethic that comes with it. So I encourage you kids, on the rainy days, on the early mornings and on the late nights, embrace the grind, because it's gonna help you later on in life, all right? So thank your parents, thank your fitters, thank your breeders for helping you out here today. With that being said, uh, I've got one out here I like a great deal. I've made it no secret thus far tonight. Let's give these kids one last big round of applause and I'll show you the barrels I like, or the hogs I like best. Megan Coles and family, congratulations. Your daughter just won grand champion pig at the Carroll County Fair. <laughs> Dreams do come true. And Levi Savage is in the ring with his reserve champion crossbred. I do want to say to Judge Boone Smiths, we really appreciated him being here today. Put your hands together. He's done such an awesome job with our kids. He has sorted these pigs so well for us tonight. We appreciate having him here. We dropped that reserve crossbred out, and I think it, uh, it uh, really fits well into the mix here. Again, I think these hogs are all stout in their skull shape. They're all fresh in their back shape and they're all very comfortable in their build when you go ahead and ask them to drive. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give them one last look. Uh, if you would, I'm gonna go ahead then and put the mic down. Let's give them one last round of applause. And Levi Savage continues his awesome week by exhibiting the Reserve Grand Champion Market Hog. Congratulations to all our exhibitors. Special congratulations to Riley Coles with Grand Champion Market Hog and Reserve Grand Champion was Levi Savage. We want to thank you all for being here with us tonight and we'll see you tomorrow at the Beef Show.